since Thursday, what we are noticing is that people, large group of uh, people from all across Sri Lanka in major cities have uh, gathered and been protesting against the government. They all have been demanding the resignations of the Prime Minister and the President uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Uh, what we are seeing that these group of people are belonging to working class professionals, artists, doctors, lawyers, university students and housewives. So everybody has been organized and there is a big mobilization of people. And what is special about these protests is that they are even happening during the night and most of them are not uh, organized protests. They are sporadic in nature. And uh, people have been really frustrated and fed up with the, um, you know, shortages of food, medicines, cooking, go uh, cooking oil and uh, fuel, which uh, they have been uh, facing since weeks now. Adding to that has also been the long hours of power cut, sometimes reaching 13 hours a day. Um, hospitals have been suspending surgeries and even schools had to suspend the exams because they do not have papers to conduct exams and as well as regional newspapers have to suspend printing um, their uh, English editions or, uh, you know, regional language editions of newspapers. So there is a huge uh, wave of protests happening and that seems, uh, it seems that it is not going to stop until their demands are met uh, and that is the resignation of the present government whom they blame has uh, been uh, uh, the reason behind uh, where the country uh, stands right now.